Hey everyone, Mtashed here, and this is how to beat the Siege Engine, which is the Death Zamboni during the Wrath of the Machine raid. Step number one is move towards it and it's going to start the fight. I highly recommend having some players focused on killing the Dregs and the other players focused on sniping the turrets on the Siege Engine. Now, remember, if you shoot the Dregs in the head, it's going to spawn those red Axion Bolt damage dealers. If you can, use grenades, use your super, use rockets, but shooting them in the head can cause them to really overwhelm you with damage here. So try your best not to. For the other players, your focus is the turrets on the left and right side of the front of the siege engine. Once those are taken out, the protective casing is going to be gone on the front of the engine, and you're going to be able to do as much damage as you can. Once you damage this enough, the casing on the left side of the siege engine is going to fall off, allowing you to jump up on top. You have a moment here to grab some ammo if you can, but don't get smushed by the siege engine, because this thing's on a one-way train to take out the wall behind you. As you jump on top, make sure to reload all your guns and get ready for phase number two. You want to move fast to make sure you get enough time to finish it. Also, don't get too close to the front because you can actually die from this explosive blast. Now, after that, you're going to want to start moving forward. A skiff is going to appear on the far side of this, but also remember that this engine is still moving. If you stop here to reload, you're going to get run over. Now, as you make your way forward, there's going to be the skiff, there's going to be a captain, and some enemies. Once you kill the captain, the next phase fully starts. Killing this captain is going to spawn three items which need to be carried all the way back to the siege engine. Now. You can only carry them for a few seconds apiece before you become exhausted and unable to pick them up once again. This debuff lasts for only a few seconds, so you can rotate and continue to carry them. You move very slow with these, and there's also some trip mines that will pop up on the ground. I highly recommend sending someone ahead of the pack to pop these grenades to shoot these grenades so that you don't get slowed down. While you're exhausted, make sure that you're doing damage and supporting your team. There's going to be a main group with one captain that spawns in this first section here, right up top. Use your supers, use your rockets, whatever you need to do. There's also going to be some more enemies that drop down right in front of me where I'm standing. You need to take out those ones too, because they're going to overwhelm you as well. At around this section, many of your teammates carrying the items are going to become exhausted. You need to now pick up the items and continue pushing them or moving them forward. If you are not carrying an item, make sure you're doing damage. There's going to be vandals to the right and the left of you spawning, as well as captains closer towards the siege engine. Please try to stay alive here because this is where runs start to fall apart. This is one of the toughest parts because of the amount of enemies. Use your supers, use your rockets, and for the love of God, don't suck like I do and go down to a captain. If one of your teammates ends up going down, don't panic. Try to continue moving the items towards the siege tank. As you can see here in the bottom left corner, a captain named Mexis is actually on top of the siege engine. You need to kill him to lower a bridge and get the items back onto the siege engine. You can't jump up there, you can't throw them, this captain needs to be killed. The three items need to be placed in different locations. The drive shaft at the front, which I just passed, the warhead in the middle right here, and there is also an engine block near the back. Make sure you guys are moving together, because if someone is forced to drop it, the other players can pick it up and slam it in. If you don't plant them in time, the entire thing is over. After repairing the siege engine, it's going to take out another wall, and this section is pretty much over. You're going to barrel on towards the edge of the bridge, and you're going to actually have to jump off of it. Down below, there should be a couple engrams waiting for you, containing random gear pieces or weapons, and that's it for the siege engine. Quick little tip is just past this section on the other side of the bridge, there's some rocks. Climb on up and there's another chest waiting for you hidden up top. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon my friends. Bye bye.